Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the Bent Knitter. So this week I thought we would really kind of jump into different kind of kinds of yarn weights. I know a couple of weeks ago we went into different kind of needles. I thought it'd be interesting to kind of jump into yarn weights for anyone that's unfamiliar or kind of curious about different sizes or yarn weights. Um, this is kind of the video for you. Um, a lot of the yarn weights tend to refer to how thick the yarn is. So a couple days ago I went over to Michael's and I bought pretty much everything that I'm going to show you except for like my super bulky at Michael's. Um, so it's going to, all this stuff is pretty readily available for anyone that wants it. It should be pretty local if you have a Michael's or a jo Joann's near you or a local's local yarn store um they should have a good variety of different sizes for you but we're going to start off on the kind of very skinny yarn end of things um we're going to start off with a super fine yarn uh, most yarns will will have what weight it is on it somewhere on it most of the stuff from michael's will have kind of this diagram of the name and the, a number on it Number one is super fine and it goes up to number seven uh, jumbo, which we will get into a little bit later. Uh, but number one is going to be super fine or you can, this also is referred to as commonly like lace weight or fingering yarn. But as you can see, it is very, very skinny yarn. Um, it is very thin. Um, a lot of this yarn is used for kind of super delicate projects or super uh complex patterns to it so you'll see a lot of doilies made out of this or a lot of lace uh, lace stuff like shawls or the like um will be used out of this yarn because it will be great for kind of all that detail since since it is so skinny um you can really get all of um the detail with this yarn for that you require for um, all the lace that you want but also keep in mind, since it is so skinny, um, it's not great for warmth. Um, if you want something heavy to keep the warmth in, this is not exactly the greatest yarn to use for that. So that is kind of the other side of this type of yarn is that that's great for intricate detail, but not necessarily for warmth. But also the nice thing about this type of yarn, you will get a lot of yardage out of this. For this instance, this cake will have 1,100 yards in it. Um, and it was uh, probably around nine, ten dollars for the cake, um, which is not horrible considering how much yardage you will get. Um, you will notice as we get to thicker yarn, you this will drop kind of dra uh, dramatically throughout the video. But then the next weight that we will be going to um, is going to be called super fine, um, which is also number two. Um, so it is a little bit thicker um, than the fine uh, the lace weight is. As you can see, there's a, m a couple of strands that you can knit with. Usually, um, uh, super fine is only like one thread, uh, one ply, um, which is very commonly referred to. Um, with super fine, it's uh, I believe like two to four. Um, as we get better, there may be more and more. There's probably going to be more and more threads throughout the yarn. Um, but you can see it's a little bit thicker. Um, but the, a lot of great projects um, are the are going to be like socks and baby items because it is rather soft to the touch. Um, another name for this is going to be sock yarn because, surprisingly enough, they are great for socks or middens um, of the sort. So that way you can get all the detail and you can do, um, it's kind of easy to control in terms of what you want to do for the needle for your project. But also keep in mind with these very skinny yarns, you can use bigger needles, thicker needles on it, um, but you're going to have a lot more holes in it. Um, Cause obviously the stitcher is gonna, stitch is gonna be big, uh, much bigger. Usually um, when using these smaller needles, they use, a smaller gauge um, like kind of one through five US um, or up to like kind of four millimeters they usually re recommend for your project so you can get all the detail out of it but not have it be very kind of see-through or holy unless that's what you kind of want for your project 
which is not necessarily what you want, but just something to keep in mind. Again, this is also still super light, so it's gonna not be very heavy, but also it's not gonna be super warm either, um, if that's what you're going for and the project is warm. Um, a lot of this stuff can be decorative, so just keep that in mind. So we're gonna keep moving forward um, to number three, hooray! Uh, so this is uh, light, um, but also it kind of goes uh, by sport or DK. Um, so again, this is going to be uh, much thicker um, than a lot of the other yarn that we've been seeing um, so far. So it's going to be a little bit easier to work with, but also probably quicker to knit with just because it is going to be thicker. Again, the thicker the yarn, the quicker, the bigger the stitches are going to be. So the quicker the project is going to be for your project. So this is going to be a little bit warmer in terms of your finished project, but also these are great for color working projects. If you have a lot of multiple colors, this is the yarn to use. And also this is great for garments in terms of sweaters, hats, some gloves too. Um, you can do some socks in this. Um, a lot of projects you can, um, if you so choose, you can kind of bump up or go down uh, yarn and it's pretty okay. Um, I would just uh, double check before you knit that pattern, but it is still on the thinner side of stuff um, of yarn. So just keep that in mind when you're knitting up. Okay, so moving on, we're going to go to number four, which is a medium weight. Um, this is usually the most, um, this is also known as like worsted weight. Um, this is, you can actually kind of see how um, different it is from kind of this skinnier yarn already um, just from go bumping up from one to four so this is uh, probably going to be some of the most versatile yarn that you use um, you will find a lot of yarn this way kind of in the three four five range is kind of one of the, where you can find a lot is this is great for a lot of different projects so you have a lot of control over this yarn but also it's great for blankets sweaters hats scarves socks it's okay with but i would definitely use the finer yarn though like that we mentioned before but also this is where you're going to start noticing it be thicker and warmer so this is not great for like lacy stuff but you still will get a good amount of detail out of it for complex patterns so it's definitely worth checking out if you have something uh, intricate to do. So, but this will also be a lot warmer, like I mentioned before. So we'll also see something a little bit different or uh, something bumped up now. We're getting into the chunky yarn, but this is number five, bulky, okay? So as you, this will be the much thicker yarn here, okay? So it's gonna be heavy and warmer, but also this type of yarn, not going to be good for lace it's not going to be delicate patterns you're also going to be start losing a lot of the detail as we get from here on out in terms of thickness of yarn you can still get a good amount of detail with patterns but it's not going to do anything lace so um the trade-off is that this um this is going to be heavier so for a blanket for a scarf the uh, if you want something very warm very cozy very soft to the touch you're going to go with something four and higher because it is going to get that warmth that you crave um another name of, for this is going to be like chunky um this is usually around the thickness that people refer to as uh chunky yarn um, but this is great for blankets for that warmth that everyone wants okay but you're not going to get socks or um mittens necessarily out of this type of yarn all right, so our next yarn is going to be even thicker. Um, so this is, sorry, um, this is going to be our super bulky, number six, our super uh, chunky. Now, once we get into this yarn and the jumbo, which is going to be the next yarn, our last yarn, um, just keep in mind that since it is chunky, it might be a little bit harder to control your your needles and the yarn for this because you're going to be using much bigger needles and for this type of yarn um, you're not going to be using your you know three four or five uh, millimeter needles 
you're going to be using, you know, six, seven, eights, which is going to be a thicker needle, which is going to be a little bit harder, but, um, so just something to keep on. But this is also going to be very, uh, very warm for what you want for blankets, for hats, for scarves. You can still use it for blankets and hearts, but also, like I mentioned before, the yardage is going to go down quite a bit. Um, so like this is only 220. Um, per scan, which is about the same amount for uh, the four, like this one has, uh, this one, oh, uh, 280. So, I mean, it's about the same amount for uh, for size four, but uh, like I mentioned before, it's a huge drop off from the 1100 that we saw before. Um, so, and you're still saying spending the same amount of money just for a lot less yardage. So. There is also the one downside is if you're trying to do something big, you're going to be spending much more money on getting all of this yardage. Um, but again, thicker needles will help counteract that in terms of getting bigger stitches and making it a, a little bit quicker for you to net. Um, the last one that we're going to go into is going to be our jumbo yarn. Um, now, if you're going into arm knitting, um, this is probably the weight yarn you're going to be using. So it is super chunky, super thick. Um, and the, like for this one, there's only 112 yards in this. So it is expensive to get. Um, but this is the type of stuff that you're going to use in a big, thick needle. But these are going to be the stuff that you use for huge blankets or very cozy pillows. You're not going to get the detail for this, okay? You're going to be no lace no super intricate patterns um you still can get a little bit of patterns out of this which will look nice but it's not that's not what we're using this yarn for um it tends to be very thick very heavy very warm so you can use it for sweaters but again it's going to be very warm so you're going to get hot very quickly you have been warned but that is just a basic rundown of the yarn that you will commonly come across and your day-to-day -day knitting. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, please leave it down below and I'll see you later.